another major repair that we have to do this winter. Um, you can see that the axle on our trailer is bent and we saw that when we bought the boat. Um, it's not going to be a big deal to fix it. Brett worked in frame shops from the time he was about 12 until he was 40. So it'll be a pretty easy fix. It's not bent bad and it's not going to fall off but it is rubbing the tire completely bald. It has wires sticking out of it and we're going to have to replace that tire. Today we're going to straighten the axle on the trailer. It's been bent since we've had it and we put it off for a whole year and now it's time to do it. So we're going to have to take it completely off the trailer. Well we got our axle off our trailer We've made us a little frame machine here. First thing we're gonna have to do is uh, clean this thing and inspect it from one end to the other. Make sure there's no cracks in it that need welded up from when it was bent. But this side here is the side that's bent. And most likely it's bent right under where the U-bolts fasten to it. You can see how much this axle's bent when I rotate it, especially if you look right here. All right, well, we got our axle all cleaned up. We packed the wheel bearings, checked it all for cracks. It's all good. And we're set up to make our first push here. We're going to start with um, just a four ton port of power. If that don't do it, then we'll go to 10 tons and then 12 tons. And we just don't want to over push that cast iron uh, hub. Well, we've got it pushed up about straight. We don't know until we measure it, but steel has a memory, and uh, as soon as we turn the pressure off, a lot of it's going to go back. So you have to go almost twice as far as you need to be. So we're just going to let it sit there and uh, stretch for a minute. It's been sitting here stretching about three or four minutes. We're going to let the pressure off and see what we got. I see it spring back a little bit. I think we're going to have to push it again. That wasn't quite enough. We're going to push it up just a little bit more. We did tighten the chain up. Kind of hoping the jack don't fly out of it. Turn it off and see what we got there. I think now it's time to go ahead and mount a wheel and do some measuring. After we made our second push, um, we did some measuring and we found out that we're off 1 16th of an inch. Uh, we actually went a 16th of an inch too far and we're going to leave it right there. Well, that wasn't much fun, but we've got the wheels put back on, the axle straight. And the other side. Thanks for joining us for this update on the sputter butt. Please click like and subscribe.